Let's take a look at the Corbin paddles. Paddles that were designed specifically to take your riding to the next level. Over the years, a team have tested these paddles in quite a wide variety of conditions, ranging from big waves to high performance small wave surfing, downwinders and very choppy conditions. We found that what makes a good paddle is a paddle that's light and strong at the same time, but it has to work in a wide variety of conditions and that's where the carbon paddles really stand out. Carbon paddles, carbon composite to the best material that's available on the market at the present time. We found over the years of testing paddles that they often break right at the point where the blade or handle connects into the shaft. So what we've done with this year's model, we've designed a very unique connection point that's solid and sealed to create added strength on our paddles. So taking a closer look at the Corbin connection point, you'll find super strong, solid seal, and the great thing is the rubber sealing prevents water from entering into the shaft, which increases the lifespan of your paddle. One of the areas that are probably the most overlooked on any standard paddle is the handle. Taking a look at the Corbin handle, we've got a handle that is ergonomically designed, so your hand fits over, and at the same time it's super strong, light, and allows for hours of comfortable use. The most important part of any stand-up paddle is obviously the shaft. It has to be strong and durable at the same time. The Corbin shaft we designed for added strength and durability with the best possible composite available on the market. When riding away, there's a lot of pressure that's put on the center part of the shaft. So it's important to have a shaft that has a bit of flex in it, but can still handle the pressure, especially when wave riding. Here's a great illustration of myself riding a wave, putting a lot of pressure, especially on the center part of the paddle, knowing that I have the confidence to apply the pressure without the paddle breaking. Not only are the Corbin paddles elegant in their style, strong and able to carry a lot of weight, but it's very important that they have a certain amount of flex in the shaft too, which allows for forward thrust, especially when doing downwinders or paddling into small waves. Okay, right now let's take a look at two of the models in the Corbin range. We've got the hardcore paddle, which is nine and a quarter inches wide, and the Stealth, which is eight inches wide. Let's take a look at the hardcore paddle first. A paddle designed specifically for pushing the limits, especially in wave riding. With the hardcore blade being nine and a quarter inches wide, it supplies added power and performance, especially when riding bigger waves or even in smaller waves when you need added acceleration to get down the wave face. The second paddle that we want to zone in on right now is the Corbin Stealth paddle. Eight inches wide and slightly more of a teardrop shape. With the eight inch blade, the Stealth is great for racing, downwinders, and quicker strokes, especially on smaller days. The Stealth is also perfect for ladies, juniors, and especially riders under 190 pounds, but not limited to these riders, just because the nature of the shape, being a smaller paddle, is great for whipping around, especially for high performance surfing. Let's take a look at some of the unique features on the Corbin blades. Taking a look at the blade face of the Corbin paddles, you can notice that there's a slight concave in the blade face, which is super critical for effective paddling. What this will do is at the beginning of your stroke, it will allow for added water resistance, which is then released at the end of your stroke. This will give you forward thrust and continuous momentum. So looking at the Corbin paddles, you notice that there's a slight concave, but a great added benefit is having a spine that runs quarter of the way down the paddle blade. And what this does, it displaces the water and that'll prevent paddle shatter and the paddle from hitting the side of your board. So you're up and riding, catching some waves, and this is where the back part of the blade is gonna be super critical. It's important to realize that a paddle is not just for catching waves, but a great tool for effective riding. Taking a look at the Corbin blades, especially the back part, you notice that there's a slight double concave leading into a V running off the edge of the paddle. And what this will do, it will allow for high performance and added control. Here's a really good illustration of how an effective paddle will work on a wave. If you take a closer look at this clip, you'll notice that I'm actually using the paddle to adjust my speed control and also to maintain balance and stability on the wave face. Another key feature on all the Corbin paddles is a 13 degree angle on all the blades. 
Without getting too involved, basically what this 13 degree angle will do is it will allow for longer strokes from time of entry to release, maintaining forward momentum and keeping the nose up. And then once on a wave face, will allow for added paddle control and correct body positioning. So those are just some of the main features of the Corbin paddles that we designed especially for you. So we hope you enjoy them, get out there and enjoy the ride. Ah, the convection's deep inside.